Good afternoon, everybody. Jim Fleeler, Vice President of Sales for Charlotte Products in Canada. Uh, thanks for joining us uh, again today. Uh, we've been hosting our series of webinars for lowering the risk of an outbreak since COVID-19 has, uh, has become uh, you know, uh, rampant globally around the world. Uh, we have been talking recently about, um, about floor care and uh, how it relates to COVID-19 as a matter of fact. And what we do know is that if you're uh, really uh, maintain a coating on the floor of a sealer and finish, you're actually sealing those pores. Therefore, taking away that breeding zone or, or uh, cross-contamination zone um, for bacteria and viruses to grow. So that's what that's how it's relative there. Um, summertime is here right now. Uh, it's actually the most popular time to uh, to redo your floors, whether you've got a deep strip or deep scrub, or maybe you can get away with a buff or a restoration process. And we're going to cover that all of those steps in the next couple of weeks. So really, this is part of the interim maintenance. Um, today, we're going to operate the rotary swing machine. This is by far the most popular machine in our industry today, but it's the most intimidating to operate. And it also is the one that comes with the highest chance of an injury because it really relies on torque and balance. So today what we've, we've got Jennifer Meek with us here. She's our director of marketing for Charlotte and North America. And we're going to, she's only operated a machine once I believe in your history. Uh, so we're gonna go through the proper steps of how to train her to make sure she operates it in a safe manner manner, not only protecting herself, but anybody that's actually in the area. So you can see she's got her PPE on because we are going to actually apply spray buff and things like that. So let's just get started with the operation and how you would train somebody on operating the machine. Okay, so Jen, the first thing you know is that with spray buffing, we always use a red pad. That's the color of choice for basically giving us the right blend and applying the spray buff solution and really getting rid of the scratches and the black marks, right? Obviously round, obviously like a car tire uh, on your car, if it's out of balance, it's gonna shake and carry on. So it's very important that you place it in the center of your pad holder. So if we look here, this is our pad holder here. You can see the grips here that it basically grabs the pad and stops it from swinging, okay? And the easiest way to do it is just to look at it like this. You know, uh, make sure that it's fairly centered. Just give it a light little step there and it's grabbed a hold of it. So what happens is some people put the pad down and then lower the machine and it's out of round and then they spend the rest of the time doing that, okay? And you'll see it's a clutch plate. Now, one thing from a safety standpoint, you will notice that we do not have the machine plugged in the wall. That is very important when you're training somebody because we've had instances where people have hurt themselves and hurt others around because they're just not quite sure handle how to handle a machine. They panic a little bit. It is plugged in. We can have an injury. So let's when we're training, we want to make sure we don't uh, uh, we we t we avoid that risk. Okay. So placing the pad holder on, you can see here. There's three lugs. Okay, right here. These three lugs match there. So Jen, maybe you want to take that and see if you can, uh, you can put that on there. It's just simply line the lugs up, give it a twist. Okay, other way, backwards. Okay, and you're on, that's it. So that locks on. It's, a, it's an elevated cam mechanism that applies tension to it and that's as easy. Same thing for reversing, just give it a little bit of a hit on the outside and it comes off and it's very, very easy. So mount that it's turning, does that give you an indication that it's on? Yeah, ab absolutely, okay. So then we can safely lower our machine. Now what I'd like you to do is to adjust the handle and the way you do that is you just loosen that, okay. And then I want you to take and put it right about here on your body, okay, right like so. That's where, uh, just a little bit lower. And what I want you to pay attention to here is really this housing the hood, okay? You want that to be more level than offset like that. So lower your handle a little bit more, okay? Lock it in like so, okay? Yeah, it's just a simple, and then lift up a little bit, okay? And that's, so you can see, we're not totally flat, but we're pretty flat, right? So there's something you need to remember here. It's the term LLRR. If I want this machine to go to the left, I wanna lower the handle a little bit, okay? If I want it to go right, I wanna lift up a little bit. So just practice that a little bit. So left, yeah, then the machine's going to go to the left. Okay, and raising, it is going to go to the right. And that's what you need to remember when you're getting close to edges or walls or furniture or something, if you wanna go in the, so left is lower the handle, 
raise, or going to the right is raising the handle. And the machine will stay pretty well stationary if you've got this flat or level, I would say, okay? So that's very simple. So what I want you to do, are you comfortable there? Yes. Okay, the other thing I do is, is people will stand, okay, and they'll stand holding the machine like this with both legs parallel, right? That is not the way to do it. What I'd like you to do is offset your feet sort of in an L, have the handle here, and then you can see you've got a little bit of uh, um, you know, control over it. You've got some, some muscle tone into it and the whole work, so you've got some resistance. So it's not gonna push you back. You have no leverage this way. You've got all kinds of leverage this way, okay? And always operate it with both hands and, and away you go from there. So are you comfortable in that position there? You can see you're fairly level. If you wanted to adjust it a little bit more, it would probably be a little better, but I think you're good that way, okay? And don't hold it out like this. Your arms will wear out long before the machine wears out, okay? My arms and my elbows into my body. Yeah, you're good just like that, okay? So with that being said, are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay, so take your hands off of it for me because I'm going to plug it in, okay? So remember, always safety. I'm going to plug it in, okay? And we are powered. Now, before you touch it, I'm going to be at the front of the machine, right? So if anything goes wrong, what I want you to do is release these two levers, hang on to the handle, release those two levers, it'll stop, but I have control of it at the front. So there's no issue whatsoever, okay? So, so if you wanna get in position there, I'm gonna hang on to it like so, and when you're ready to go, you can just, there's a safety release on the handle that you have to click and then pull your lever and it'll go, okay, right? So you see, I've got a hold of it for you. How does that feel? Feels good with you holding it. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that's what you go through because it's the most intimidating machine uh, that we have in our industry, but it's very, ne it's a necessity. You can't go without this machine, uh, so everybody has to learn how to operate it. So just, just sort of, um, you know, I've got a hold of it here, so just maybe move it a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. Okay, you see how easy that responds? And you've got your hip there, good, so that's good. So are you comfortable with me letting go? I, I think I am, except this cord is bothering. The cord is bothering? Okay, well why don't I come and move the cord, okay? One thing about the cord is you never ever put it up over your shoulder, okay? You always wanna keep a hold of it once you get to operating the machine comfortably with one hand or just keep aware of it where it is on the floor, okay? So you can see there, you've got a pretty good handle on that machine. So just move it over a little to the right. See how easy it moves? A little to the left. And then a little bit forward. Push, walk forward with it. That's perfect. Slow movements, safe movements, not big movements on the handle up and down. I recommend everybody just learning in this fashion just to take it easy. So that's how you really safely operate a swing machine. That's uh, pretty comfortable now. Okay, our next step here, we're gonna actually do spray buffing techniques. So, so if you have any questions, by all means, reach out to us there, we're here to help you. But that's how you safely operate a swing machine. Make sure where you're done, you remove the pad, you put the handle in the upright position, wipe down the cord, make sure it's unplugged, and then remove your, uh, uh, your PPE from there. Thank you.